This sport is everything to you. You throw one heavy punch with that right, that's your career. Now I'm pregnant. This is big, though. There's a restaurant nearby that sells hot dogs. The doctor said I should never play hockey again. We are here with Jay Baruchel and his new film, Goon, The Last of the Enforcers. Can you tell us a little bit about the premise of uh, the sequel to Goon? Yeah, it's, uh, it picks up a few years uh, after the first film, and, uh, and Doug and Eva are now married, and they have a baby on the way. And uh, while that's happening, uh, Doug gets uh, injured pretty severely and is kind of forced into retirement. Uh, while the Highlanders are all kind of uh, feeling the impending uh, end of their careers. And uh, to make matters worse, the guy that uh, puts Doug into retirement, Anders Kane, uh, gets hired onto the Highlanders and basically replaces him. It's my team now. I need to protect my team. So, Adrian, do we view us like the sort of final third of his trajectory leading up to the hit? You took over the directing reins from uh, a local legend here in Michael Calgary, Dows. Mike, Michael Dows. Can you just talk a little bit about of like what that's like to take over the reins from someone like that? Very, very tall boots to fill. Dows is one of my best friends and one of my mentors and my general and my writing partner Jesse and I, we wrote this script for him to direct. Um, when circumstances dictated he couldn't return, uh, it was our lead, Sean William, that asked me if I would think about doing it, and Mark Andre as well. And, um, and so half of what I did in this movie uh, was doing what I thought he would do. We wrote the first draft almost five years ago. It's a lot of moving pieces. There's a lot of financing, uh, casting. There's like, you gotta find a place to do it, make sure everyone's available. Um, and you've also all got to agree on a story that's worth telling. Um, and so, yeah, the movie died a few deaths on its way, but we all wanted to make it for the right reason, and so that's why we're here. But more than anything, we made this movie for Canadian moviegoers. So hopefully uh, we tell some cool stories, they enjoy the flick, and they might want to know how we made it. I think it'll be good. So Jay Baruchel here representing Canadian film Loud and Proud, so thanks Thank for having you. a chat with us. Thanks for having me, Sarah.